Yep. Tapco. Tapco makes some great things. 10 round AK mags are not one of them. Thanks so much for joining us today on the bullet points. To my right here is Piers, and this is Morgan on my left. All right, today we got a really cool rifle for you guys. We have an AK-47 platform. It's uh, made by M&M, and uh, well, it's actually manufactured in Romania by uh, F.A. Cougar. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, so forgive me if I'm butchering it pretty badly. Uh, but it's uh, manufactured in Romania, imported by M&M. I believe they're located in Colorado. Starting at the front, we have a uh, muzzle brake or a compensator that's actually made by M&M. &M. It's, uh, it's pretty wicked looking, it's pretty cool. It uh, uh, really minimalizes the flash, so it's a good flash hider. Um, pretty low muzzle recoil or muzzle lift on this. Recoil's not too bad uh, compared to most other AKs. This fires, of course, the standard 7.62x39, the standard AK round. Semi-auto, of course, though, just in case uh, Mr. Biden's watching. We have a uh, typical gas system right here um, for the uh, just a, a DI gas system. What's really cool about this one is it comes standard with the quad rail mount right here. So that way it's instantly ready to accept optics. So you can mount anything from, you know, holographic optic if you want it. It uh, has right here the RPK style back sight right here. It uh, can goes from all the way from 1,000 yards to 100 yards as far as the adjustability. Pretty cool, uh, very easy to take off dust cover. I know a lot of AK platforms, people uh, complain about how sticky it is to remove the dust cover for cleaning. This one actually is extremely simple to take off, pretty easy uh, to operate. So that's a really nice feature on this AK. Comes uh, standard with the hoe grip right here as well, which is really nice. Very comfortable, uh, soft rubber grip, um, has a really good feel to it. There's actually a Tapco trigger in this unit right here. So it comes with a decent trigger. It's not, the, the brake isn't too hard. It's not super sloppy. It's actually a pretty decent feel. Um, the stock right here, is just a standard uh, standard kind of run-of-the-mill stock there are a lot of good AKs out there um, but uh, you know you have your your, your Chinese made Polytex you have uh, a lot of the, the good like Russian made Saigas and the other good Romanian ones but this is really really good for the price point this is an AK that you can uh, not have to drop a lot of cash for and you can walk away with a really really fun rifle to use for planking but also for home defense self-defense things of that nature so we're really excited to get this out in the field and uh, see how it does M10 762 by M&M.
time. Thanks a lot for checking out our review of the M10 762. This is a really cool AK platform. Uh, it's, uh, it's a really fun platform. Man, if you're on a budget, this is a really good way to go. It provides you with lots of options. That's the word I would use to uh, describe this weapon. It's great that it has the quad rail. Love the hoe grip. Love that it comes with the Tapco G2 trigger. Not too harsh of a trigger break on this one. Um, just a, a overall really, really fun gun. Again, great for self-defense, home defense. Uh, really fun just to take out to the range and go planking with. Um, a great practice AK is what I would say. Um, this one's not going to set you back a lot if you're this is your first time getting into the platform. Um, you know, it's a really good way to go, especially since, like we mentioned before, the dust cover is easy to take off. And again, that seems like a, a small thing, but really that's a big thing after you clean it 50, 100 times. Um, it's a very easily disassembled and reassembled gun. So it makes cleaning a breeze and uh, it's just a lot of fun to shoot. You know, I'm pretty new to the uh, AK platform, so, you know, I'm not, not very experienced with it. I thought it was a really fun gun to shoot, though. You know, it's fairly accurate, well, actually really accurate for, you know, the distances we were shooting. I really enjoy the hook grip. I think it's just super comfortable to, to you know, hold. Um, the quad rail, it's great you know, for any kind of attachments you want for it. Uh, personally, I'd probably want a, some kind of just padding for the bottom of it. It's a little bit more comfortable to hold. The flash hider was, was great, though, uh, or the muzzle compensator. You know, I think it's a it's really cool looking one though. I can definitely tell that it, it worked versus not having one at all. The rear sight kind of adjusts to, you know, however, whatever distance you're shooting at. Not that an AK will probably go to a thousand yards, but at least you can right. adjust your sights to that though. You, you know, it's a little bit easier to, you know, if you know what distance you're shooting at to, uh, you know, to get there. So, you know, other than that though, I thought it was a really fun rifle to shoot. Uh, I liked it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this platform. Um, you know, AKs are, are fantastic guns. You can throw them in the mud, you can kick sand on them, you can do whatever and, and they'll still run. I mean, it's really the Energizer bunny of, uh, of firearms. So, you know, seeing this AK come out with a lot of accessories that you may do to one that you purchased already uh, is really, really cool. But the hug grip's super comfortable. I, I really enjoy hug grips. I got them on a lot of my stuff. They just help dampen a little bit of recoil that you hit in your wrist there. Um, you know, it's just a super comfortable platform. My only real complaint about this is the rear stock. It's a, it's, you know, kind of a hollow plastic. It's a little cheap feeling. Um, you know, you're not hitting a ton of recoil with this, but maybe doing something a little bit different back there. You, you, you might want to look into that if you purchase one of these. Um, the price point's right though. I mean, you really can't beat the price on this for an AK with this many accessories. The quad rail is cool. Um, you know, I, I really like the side and the, the bottom rails on it so you can throw, you know, maybe a foregrip or, you know, flashlight or anything else on there. Um, but I'm not the biggest fan of the top rail. I, I'd, I'd much rather see, you know, the top rail move back here to put a set of optics where a set of optics needs to be. It's just a little bit uncomfortable having an aim point or a neotech or, you know, any kind of holographic sight this far forward on the gun. Um, but all in all, really, really cool package. So that does it for our review of the M10762. Thanks so much again for joining us. Be sure to uh, subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing a ton of new uh, gear giveaways, a uh, ton of new uh, uh, reviews coming out to tabletops, builds, uh, all sorts of fun stuff, modifications. So look for more reviews in the future and stay tuned.